Welcome to Eastern Tennessee. We are driving to the town of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, a major tourist attraction. If you're wondering how it got its name, it was long before it became one of the most popular vacation destinations. It used to be called White Oaks Flats. The name came from the beautiful white oak trees that surrounded the area. The name Gatlinburg begins in 1854 when a man named Radford Gatlin moved to the area and opened a second general store in White Oaks Flats. And a couple of years later, he opened a post office inside his store, which resulted in changing the name of the town to Gatlinburg. Driving through this town these days can be very interesting, but if you're looking for things to do here, your best bet is to park the car and walk. Take a stroll on the downtown parkway, which runs from one end of the town to the other. This easy track will take you past Gatlinburg hotspots, including enticing eateries, quaint local shops and galleries, as well as plenty of fun and lots of free other things to do. You'll find plenty of public parking along the way. We parked around the center of the main strip here, right next to the Gatlinburg Skylift that takes you up to Skylift Park, where you can walk on a very popular sky bridge once on top. It's a suspension bridge with a glass bottom that overlooks below. And that's only one of the things. Since it started raining as soon as we got there, we started with Ripley's Aquarium. My favorite parts were the seahorses, shark alley, the penguin exhibit, and petting the stingrays. But everything was really cool and educational. We marveled at some 12 foot sharks, a giant sea turtle, thousands of exotic sea creatures and playful penguins in state of the art underwater tunnels. On fun fact, there are more fish in this aquarium than there are people living in the entire town of Gatlinburg. Believe it or not. As you walk the main strip here, you start to realize how hard to see and do everything in one or two days. But it's definitely fun just walking in front of these places and just get to do the main things like we did. definitely want to visit Ober Gatlinburg. It's a year-round destination that's worth visiting no matter the season. It has plenty of activities for all ages, a place everyone can enjoy. Shop while they play or play while they shop. At the end of the day, dine together and travel together in style via the aerial tramway. It's one of America's largest aerial tramways, soaring over 11,000 feet above Gatlinburg, Tennessee. The two 120 passenger counterbalanced cars provide an amazing aerial experience for all ages. They depart from downtown Gatlinburg and lift you up directly to the amusement park and ski area. Regularly departing from downtown Gatlinburg, this cable car will take you on a breathtaking two mile ride up to the amusement park and ski area.
top, there's plenty to do. Strap on a pair of skates and glide across Ober's Indoor Ice Arena. The 140 foot by 75 foot indoor ice arena is centerpiece of the Ober Gatlinburg's enclosed mall and is open year round. Take a seat in one of the ice bumper cars. These round colorful tubes have wheels and their own motors which lets you glide across the ice with ease. The controls are a little bit like playing a video game, smash into other cars, or simply sit and spin in circles. Lots of fun. There's plenty of indoor activities for the kids. Just outside the mall, there's even more fun things to do for children and adults. Wildlife Encounter is proud to share with visitors the Black Bear family, including Minnie and BJ, and their now grown six-year-olds, Holly and Chief. The river otters playing in the uh, underwater viewing area, the beautiful bobcats and the birds of prey. In an enclosed ivory and other native species will also be homes at this new facility. Includes various species of native Smokies wildlife such as raccoons, skunks, flying squirrels, turtles and snakes. The Wildlife Encounter is a privately funded, municipally sponsored zoo licensed by the USDA as an exhibitor. It has been put in place to provide people with an up-close viewing of native wildlife in a safe environment. Don't forget the small shops on the upper floor of the mall. They have some pretty interesting merchandise. And finally, the ride back down, in which I think we caught it just at the right time. Just before dark. Some beautiful scenery. enjoyed Ober Gatlinburg. Back on the main strip, we explored some restaurants and decided on Galhoun's. It has a nice setting and the food was great. As we walked back towards the parking lot, we enjoyed many lit up store windows and attractions along the way. The town really comes to life at night. From the parking lot, we got a great view of the ski lift all lit up to the top. We really enjoyed Gatlinburg, and hopefully you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for coming along, and you all have a great day.